That video has 48.6 million views and it's wrong. 48.6 million views for a wrong video. So I'm going to correct it. Now these are the different types of fetal lie. Longitudinal, where it could either be head first or butt first. Oblique, where the head or the butt are a little bit off to the side, like in this area, maternal left or maternal right. And then transverse. Transverse, back down towards the cervix, back up towards the top of the uterus, head to maternal right or head to maternal left. The fetus is not transverse this way with the head out here and the feet down back here, kicking you and breaking your spine. Transverse lie is this way, side to side. So that video is purely sensationalized and it did its job. But I'm sure we got people out here thinking that the fetal kicks could break your spine. And that's not true. Now, a fetus is typically either, either transverse back down where the spine is like this, on the lower part of the uterus along where the cervix would be or transverse back up where the the spine is along the top part of the uterus with the arms and the legs kind of hanging down if a fetus remains in transverse lie at the time of delivery there are two options proceeding with a cesarean section or trying to do an external cephalic version to move that fetal head down to where it should be now if the fetus is transverse back down like in this picture you might feel fetal kicks more up under your ribs on one side or the other if the fetus is transverse back up, where you take that fetus and flip it up to where the, the head is on one side or the other and the spine is like this across the top of the uterus, then you might feel the kicks on one side or the other lower in the abdomen. Now, common causes of transverse fetal lie. Number one, a premature fetus. Number two, multiple gestation. Multiple gestation. Next, placenta previa. Then we have multiparity, meaning having had multiple pregnancies. Next, some kind of fetal abnormality of the anatomy or any uterine or pelvic abnormalities like uterine anomalies. And then finally, if you got a lot of fluid. But I just wanna make sure y'all know, this is not happening. That kiddo is not kicking so hard through that uterine wall and everything else in the abdomen to make your spine buckle. Not happening.